see. First up, let's look at the design. The iPhone 5 marks the first time Apple has increased its screen size, going from the standard 3.5 inches to 4 inches. It's got a 16-9 aspect ratio, meaning it's no wider, but a lot taller. Apple reckons this will make it better for video, as there'll be no black bars. It's also incredibly slim, measuring only 7.6mm thick, and dispenses with the glass back, replacing it instead with a two-tone metal. The S3 offers a gargantuan 4.8-inch display, so if you're a fan of big screen apps and movies, then this might be the phone for you. It does of course mean it's considerably bigger in your hand, and at 8.6mm thick, it's chunkier than the iPhone 2. The Lumia 920, on the other hand, offers a still massive 4.7-inch display with a pixel density matching the iPhone, which is impressive on a screen that size. It has the same polycarbonate body with rounded edges and a curved glass screen that you'd find on the Lumia 800. Moving on to the power then. The iPhone 5 is packing Apple's latest A6 processor. In true Apple fashion, it's not forthcoming about specs, so we don't really know at this stage whether it's dual or quad-core. Apple has, however, boasted that it'll provide double the processing and graphics power of its predecessor, so I'm expecting an excellent performance all round. The S3 boasts a quad-core processor clocked to 1.4 GHz. In benchmarks, it's proven to be one of the most powerful phones we've tested, and made demanding tasks like 3D gaming a breeze. The Lumia, meanwhile, has a dual-core 1.7 GHz. The software is the main thing that separates these three phones. The iPhone 5, of course, will be running on the latest iOS 6 software from Apple. It's the same basic interface of apps in a grid, so existing iPhone users among you will feel right at home. The S3 is still running on the now rather old Android ice cream sandwich, although Samsung promised me that an update to the spanking new Android Jelly Bean will arrive in October. The Lumia 920 sees the first outing of Microsoft's new Windows Phone 8 software. It's similar in style to the existing Windows Phone 7, but it's entirely new behind the scenes. All three phones pack 8 megapixel cameras, so there's very little to choose between them without knowing what sort of quality they can each deliver. The iPhone brings new panorama features and promises better low light performance, whereas the Lumia is boasting the same pure view name from its 808 camera phone. The S3 has already proven to be a worthy snapper with handy features like zero shutter lag and a fast burst mode. An important feature shared across all three phones is that they can use the new 4G network being rolled out by Everything Everywhere. The iPhone and Lumi 920 will be able to get super fast 4G downloads as standard, whereas a 4G version of the S3 is on its way very soon. At the moment, it's far too difficult and arguably pointless to try and pick a winner from the three. All three phones offer multi-core processing, high-resolution screens, 8-megapixel cameras and 4G connectivity.